Hey there, welcome to Taste Life with us. I'm Tim and this is Kathy. So we just wanted to do a little two month summary to say, hey, we've been on the road and this is what's going on. Yeah, when we were looking into the nomad life, one of the things that really helped us the most was seeing people's budget. And so we're gonna get into that in detail at the end of this video. One thing we did not see was kind of how to manage the transition. Like we knew how to digitize and sell everything and get ready, but we didn't really know what was gonna happen when we left our, our former home with just our luggage, that's all we've got now, and, uh, and each other, and just took off into the wild blue yonder and the, the money had to transition into this, this nomad budget. What does that really look like? And that's what we want to share with you today. Yeah, well, we also kind of want to tell you what we've been up to, obviously. So um, we had a few setbacks along the way. We had a lot of joy along the way. Yeah. Uh, probably our biggest setback was the day we were set to leave. Our favorite car died. Yeah, we love that car so much. <laughs> it was a convertible, and we had dreams of driving up the California and Oregon coast and through the redwoods with the top down and just the romance life. of life and freedom. And yeah, I mean, it broke. Like it was having a couple little issues, and the computer board just started spiraling. And next thing you know, you literally couldn't drive it. He towed it away for far less than what we had hoped yeah. to sell it for and transition with, but yeah. It's okay. We ended up renting a little Kia. We drove that. Yeah. Not quite as romantic, but still, we drove it. And the money that we were able to get from the other car helped offset the cost of a, a rental for two months. Yes, and so we ended up with basically $1,000 left that didn't get offset, and we'll put that into the budget that you see at the end. The, the most difficult to figure out parts of this whole transition to the nomad life is that your finances are like a rolling ball. You know, you're constantly paying for things that you spent last month or you're paying ahead for things you booked in the future. And and it's just like, everything's all rolling. It's not like your budget just ends the day you leave and this new nomad budget starts the next day. You know, it's a transition. Well, and especially for us because I really worked the last six months to help pay for a lot of this initial adventure. So yeah. as we show you our budget, some of this stuff is prepaid. We try to mark that out just so that you can see it and get a good understanding. Mm -hmm. um, but it really helped to have that cushion, I think. Oh yeah, our strategy really was to go the expensive places first and prepay all of the accommodations so that it would be easier to just live kind of within your monthly pension and yeah. just a little bit from our saving. Yeah. And uh, so basically about the first eight months or so, all of our accommodations are covered. Yes. So this will be an ongoing rolling ball as we keep sharing <laughs> every month, but we want to just make it really clear so that everyone can understand it. But first of all, where did we go? Oh, we've had so much fun. Hey, we took off up the California coastline to begin with. We spent yes. about three days traveling through California up the one and out in the redwoods, in the redwoods. And we did a bunch of hiking and and that's new for us so that's fun um what else did we do then we went up the coast of oregon yeah and we spent my birthday on the beach in oregon was and that oregon? Um, no that wasn't oregon was it yeah it was oh that's it was right newport, it was oregon I newport believe. yeah yeah and so here's the deal with going up the coast those first eight, basically like a week going up the coast, mm -hmm. we had completely free accommodations because I would say we, but it's more I, <laughs> am really into the credit card points and rewards um, strategy in, of life. I am into it as long as you're doing it, and that's really all Right, it it's a little bit of work, but it really pays off. And I had to start this like a year ahead because, you know, you can't just apply for 10 credit cards at the same time. You got, you got to space things out but we had free nights at Best Western Plus's Beach Views. That was Really fabulous. nice. <laughs> um, and through Choice Hotels card, we had free nights at the Quality Inn, which in Port Angeles, that is the nicest hotel in town. And 
uh, supposedly. And it was the only one that we noticed that really had a good view. Yes. Like, and we had a great room. We had that corner room. Yeah, corner room overlooking the, the um, I don't know, what do you call that? It was a bay Okay. Area. And so we we really enjoyed the rainforest in Washington while we were there. Olymp Absolutely. Olympic National Forest, I think. Mm -hmm. Where we established residency with our address in yeah. Everett. And we stayed at Staybridge Suites. Yeah. In Mukilteo, which is right next to Payne Field, which is the airport in Everett. And we stayed four nights there, which IHG Hotels, which Staybridge is part of, uh, give you the fourth night free if you do three points nights. So it really maximizes your points. That hotel was amazing. It was amazing. Always had a great breakfast set out. And then during the week, Monday through Thursday? Or Wednesday? One of those. Thursday? They do a happy hour. Yeah, with a free dinner. A good dinner. Yeah. And, you know, not huge, but good. It was enough for and, us. Um, and two free drinks, like wine or beer. Mm -hmm. I would recommend the beer. The wine was cool. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> I tried it twice. Didn't, Didn't like drink it either, either time. Um, right behind this hotel are hiking trails. Yes. Yes, there's several miles of hiking trails. Um, really beautiful you know, like rainforesty yeah. type, north, northwest rainforest type. Yeah. yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, the trails and, are well and, kept. A lot of and, a, a and lot challenging. Of... These are not walks. I mean, they're actual hikes. Okay, challenging for us. Let's start well, with yeah, that. Well, yeah, not for someone who's a major hiker. But I mean, there's a lot of up and down, and yeah, it's not like yeah. it's just a walk through a park or something. It's not just a flat walk. It's yeah, one of the hikes we took one day ended up being four miles by the time we circled back. We were exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. yeah. but that was such a great day. It was a beautiful day, but wow. It, it was a little hilly, and, and it got to us. But for the most part, yeah. the hikes were really nice. We enjoyed them. Uh, yeah. Lots of free berries along the way. Love oh, it yeah. when they put out the snacks Growing like that. Growing wild everywhere. Yeah. So while we were there, we were working hard on establishing Washington residency. So we had to... Uh, registered a vote in order to go to a different office to get a driver's license. We had to get the driver's license. You wait a couple weeks till that comes in. So while we were waiting for that, we went to Snohomish for a week. Yep. Which we had a great Airbnb out in the country. Oh, it was gorgeous. Gorgeous place. It was it was really large. Um and just the whole outside area. They had a, a corral area that had three horses in it, mm -hmm. uh, which you were able to walk around through and in. It was, uh -huh. <laughs> when we say corral, it, it, it was, was... It was just a huge piece of property yeah. with grass and trees. forest trees and berry bushes. And the, the horses would come right up as close as they could right to the... The patio where we had great furniture to sit outside and we could just watch them i mean you couldn't touch them but you know they were pretty close and, and deer yeah, were deer going go through there through. all the time and it was it was amazingly beautiful and peaceful and then uh snohomish the town oh gosh great little town um one of the best parts about snohomish we feel anyway um was kind of a main street that that runs along the river right there yeah. And so there's several restaurants and wineries, that type of thing, where you can go sit outside on the river and just enjoy the views. Um, <laughs> side note, we were out there uh, having a glass of wine, and all of a sudden there's just parachutes coming down. Yeah, it's really cool. Because the airfield is not far from there, and there's yeah. just multiple parachuters just dropping in on us. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, and there was a huge farmer's market, like, Probably one of the best ones we've ever seen. That we were just walking all around it. Unfortunately, we were going to leave in a couple of days, so we couldn't really buy food there. But uh, I wish we could. Um, have. Looked delicious. So Snohomish was amazing. That's when we left for Alaska for a week. Right. That's what we did. We did. We went on a cruise to Alaska for a week. Which, on hindsight, not our best cruise ever. No, we tried. Well, it was a disappointment. Yeah, we tried uh, a new cruise line, Holland America. We hadn't been on them before. Eh, just wasn't our favorite. Yeah. You know, everybody's got their own things that they like about cruises. Yeah. This one didn't have a whole lot that we liked about cruising. Yeah. So. Which was a bummer because you definitely pay a premium price for that compared to our normal cheapo 
Carnival, Carnival Princess, <laughs> MSC, and yet we didn't like it as much. Yeah. But Alaska, you know, how do you not like Alaska? It's oh, that amazing every time. We yeah. had a great time. And so, so we came back, and then we headed back over to Spokane. Where my extended family lives. Yeah. And we had another great Verbo. Oh, this place was. It sat on the Little Spokane River, which is a you know, small branch of the Spokane River. Um, but literally, I walked about 30 yards down the hill. They had a nice path all the way down, and I fished every morning for and, a month. And, and most it, evenings. Yeah, most evenings, too. And sometimes too. during the day. It was a great, yeah. great situation. You, you caught tons of fish. <laughs> I did. None of them were yeah. monstrous fish. I, probably right around the six inch to eight inch. We didn't keep anything. It's all catch yeah. and release. Um, but yeah, so it was a hoot. Fun. And while you were doing that, I was trying to finish up the business of our life, like spreadsheets that organized our credit cards and finances and passwords and we did some wine tasting. We went on a fantastic bike ride. Oh, the like Hiawatha we, Trail. We mentioned that, I think. And yes, we, we have a great video on that. I took a little spill. Um, let's see, what else? We did a bunch of hiking. Hung spent, out with the spent family. Spent a lot of time with family. I went up into Idaho with my brother-in-laws, and we did an overnight fishing yeah. trip at Priest Lake. So that yeah. was nice. Yeah, that was fun. We went to... Uh, Fall Fest up at Schweitzer. Schweitzer. That was fun. Music, food, beer, beer tasting. tasting. And then yeah. we grabbed a train up here to Vancouver, and that's where we've been this yeah. last week. Um, we got to do everything from just explore the city. Um, we got to go to the autumn mid autumn mid autumn moon, moon festival, festival at the Chinese Cultural Center. Which that was, was fun. So cool. So fun. Um, and we're less than a mile from Stanley Park so we've done a lot of hiking in Stanley Park and that's more walking kind of hiking yeah but... Stanley Park is basically uh, Vancouver's version of what's that place in New York City Central Park Central Park yeah, yeah. so it's just, yeah, it's similar to that just a giant park um, but more foresty yeah they have an more. aquarium there um, they got a horse Horse strong carriages. Yeah, you take that. And, and we're right between the marina and the bay, so we've got two directions to explore. Really fun. Um, it's fall right now, so this we've been in Vancouver like the last few days of September. We're going to be here the first three, few days of October, and the trees are all changing. Yeah, and it's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, and there's so much good food here. We've really eaten out um, way too much. Way too much. Way but, too much. Yeah, here in the West End, we're on a particular street called uh, Denham. Denman. Denman. We're, we're right off Denman. And I, I kid you not, you go up and down the street, and it's like multicultural melting pot of restaurants. Yeah. Oh, it's like, like Indian, Malaysian, Vietnamese, Ukrainian, Filipino, uh, Greek, Mexican everything i can't even think of them all like <laughs> I everything i mean every so kind of food uh, yeah we saw poutine at one place which yes. is you know canadian yeah but we didn't eat it yeah no we tasted it one time we skipped that yeah so with all of that said and all the fun we have guess what that brings us to the number time the number time show me the money well money <laughs> so I'm going to lead with the, the couple of things that are not included in here. We had some quarterly taxes to pay Ow. because Tim was working really hard and we have a business. And so Ow. that was a little painful and not anticipated because we didn't think he'd work so much in the first six months. But we paid off a so lot. we had that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also did not include the cost of the cruise. The cruise itself was... Um, da, 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 $3,438. Way too much. Yeah. I just left it out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just forget it happened. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. <laughs> I'm not going to forget it, it happened. Fun. I had a great time. I know. I do too. I'm just decent. Okay. So, like I said, on the car rental, we counted that as $500 per month because that's how much of it. We ended up out of pocket after selling the car for scrap. Um, you'll see in the graphic that there's a couple different columns. 
of each category, you've got what we paid for in August, cash, what we paid for in September, cash, how much that added up to total for the two months, what we prepaid already while we were working, which like I said, that was all of our accommodations. And we have a World Nomads insurance policy, which is our travel policy. Mm -hmm. And we went with the Explorer option, the, the one that's a little more expensive because we've got these like Trans-Pacific cruise and stuff that we wanted to be sure we had plenty of evacuation insurance yeah. just in case, just to be wise. Um, so that was prepaid, but that was our insurance. I also did not include a little life insurance policy that I have of $37 a quarter. Yours got too expensive, you're not insured. <laughs> oh well. Um, health insurance, you might be wondering. Uh, so Tim had a Cobra. Yeah, you know on Cobras. If you're not really planning to use it, uh, you have basically three months, depends on the plan, but we had three months to decide whether you want to do the Cobra. So you can wait and see if you need major medical within that three months. And if you do, then pay up your COBRA. I, I had a cough lingering from something. And so I did go to the doctor once and we just paid cash for it. Yeah. It's no big deal. Um, let's see. So for health insurance, we're going to end up being on the Washington um, Marketplace get a plan from the marketplace and so we can sign up for that after we get to Australia right um, until then we're just on an accidental you know injury type thing it don't get hurt it, it's not gonna do any good to have the Washington insurance per se because we're not gonna be in the US and you can't use it outside of the country but it's backup like if you get cancer or something like that you know, you probably want to come back and get treated where you have insurance because travel insurance doesn't cover things like that. It, right. it just covers emergencies like accidents or, or terrible sicknesses you come down with while you're traveling. Right. We are covered for that. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to mention that we didn't include? The other thing we didn't include was... A little bit of our cell phone stuff because that's part of this rolling ball scenario, right? Holy so day. we were on Verizon, <laughs> us and three of our adult kids. Correct. Which two of them did reimburse us for theirs, but it was just cheaper for them to be on our plan and one's in college, so we were paying for it. So um, that bill was like $320 a month or so. It was, it was a lot. So of course we are still paying for that while we're in the U.S. because we need to, you know, make yeah. calls and such. So, so uh, yeah, and we had to pay off our two phones. So that was another six hundred and forty dollars. Yeah, that was kind of kind of our yeah. pre pre life of nomading. We needed to pay that all off so that then our phones were free, so we could start doing the e sims. Yeah, which we started doing. Um, yeah. which has been a, a learning curve experience for us, but it's also a very freeing thing Yeah. because, you know, so like, much cheaper than Verizon. I kind of feel like we should have been doing this our whole life. No, because we didn't manage data very well. You hardly ever used your data. We did not manage data Oh, but data it would well. have all been on data. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> and, and people would have had to call you on like... Yeah, Yeah, right. anyways. Okay, wouldn't work. But... Um, we did get a refund back from our apartment that we were living in before we launched. And so basically we balanced that out against the cell phone. Yeah. Plan, so it's fine. So we didn't count that because we had the money for that and it was pre-life. But we did count um, the cost to transfer our numbers to Google Voice, what we chose to do, $20 each. Yep. And then it's free. And it's worked great. Yeah, it's actually and we've been able well. to get all of our um, like authorization codes from banks and things like that on it. And then our SIM cards, our new digital SIM cards. And we bought Tim a global plan. Correct. Yeah. We haven't started using it yet. We've just used the local uh, SIM cards. Really trying to learn how to do that. And then once we 
I hate to yeah. say jump ship, but once we start heading for Australia and get there, mm -hmm. then we'll probably start looking into the global. And you'll have to activate it for the ship because yeah. when we're in ports like uh, Tahiti or American Samoa, we want to be able to have cell phone coverage. We have a new baby um, granddaughter coming, like any day. So, as you can tell, the cruise that's coming sounds pretty exciting. Yeah. So you're going to have to stay tuned to everything that's going on yeah. there. That's a 30-day repositioning cruise. 31-day Trans-Pacific. Wow, 31. Yeah, repositioning cruise. Hitting a lot of cool places. Ending in Australia. So we leave for that in a couple days. But we'll get back to this. Yes. Um, okay, so accommodations. They were all prepaid while Tim was working. Very, <laughs> very hard. Uh, so 4500 and ten dollars prepaid on our verbos all of our hotels which if you would have paid cash for all those nights which was i believe eight nights yeah eight nights would have been three thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars we spent 42 of the nights in verbos which are like airbnbs and so that came to an average of 107 a night which i think for washington and for vancouver canada is California. Pretty cheap. No, we didn't stay in California in a Burbo. Oh, that's right. Just yeah. Washington. Okay. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. $107 yeah. a night. This is not a cheap place. Okay. Um, let's see. Groceries. We had 345 in August, 371 in September. I'm just going to give you the totals. So for the two months, we spent $716 on groceries. We did cook a, a lot in our verbos. Yes, we did. Not that much at this one. No, not this one. Okay. We spent $1,055 at restaurants. Shows you how much which, we didn't cook. <laughs> yeah. That probably needs to come down a little. Yeah, a lot. Okay. Um, we broke out drinks. So these were also at restaurants or bars or wine tasting things. $745. We got to talk about this. <laughs> we got to do something about this. No, we got to explain mm. this because it makes it sound like we just drink a ton. But that's not it. I mean, what is our well, website all about? We're all I about mean, tasting. So tasting. We, tasting everything. Cultures, food, but also wine and beer. We love to yes. go tasting, not just drinking. Tasting. Correct. Correct. Now, the tasting fees were a little shocking to us because we've yes, had were. wine clubs where we live in a Central California wine region and we don't pay tasting fees at our wine clubs. So they've really gone up, like yes. 25 to $40 for a tasting. So it saves money to share. Absolutely. But another strategy. Yeah, you know, most of these wineries or wine tasting rooms will waive that wine tasting fee if you purchase one, two, three bottles, and, and everybody varies with how they do it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, consider the costs. If you're getting two bottles of wine that are each 20 bucks and your tasting fee is $35, well, two bottles of wine for $5 because you lose the tasting fee in the, in the wash, hey, not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, we did that in Spokane. We That's did. Some really good wine. Basically, got the tasting free that way. We did. So, anyways, it still costs money. Yeah, wine tasting isn't cheap, but this is something we love to do, and this is part of what we want our Absolutely. retirement to be. And so, Washington's a great wine region. It really is. We're, um, we are headed off to Australia and New Zealand. That number's not going yeah, down. Yeah, that number's not going right down now. for a while. <laughs> but that's why we planned after we leave New Zealand at the end of March. We will be in Southeast Asia until um, the end of, until the beginning of October 2024. So that's like eight months of lower cost living Absolutely. where there's no wine tasting. To balance out, well, hopefully we can find a little wine we'll to something. drink somewhere yes. at least, but it's not a wine tasting place. <laughs> so um, yeah, we can, that budget will balance out. So that's part of the reason I wanted to even look at these two months together because yeah. We're all about balancing out, and I'm hoping that as we go along and share each month, we can still kind of show like how it's averaging out so far. Because yeah. 
Yeah, that's a big part of the strategy of saving money is averaging out and all of our expensive places come first, but then it'll really take flight at the end, right? Yep. Okay. So there's a significant amount of money in <laughs> restaurants and drinks. That's who we are. We that's are tasting life. Exactly. Baby. Okay. Transportation. So we've got five hundred dollars a month there for, for that the rental unexpected car. rental car. And then we've got, let's see, a ferry, a lime scooter, some buses. That's about it. There wasn't that much, but we do well, we a lot a, of we gas. A, we did have a couple Ubers. Yep, a few. Well, we were using Lyft the whole okay. time. So Sorry. a few Lyfts. Lyfts. Shout out to Lyft. Um, and gas for yeah. the car and parking. We had to pay parking a yeah. few places. But other okay. than that, I mean, I, I don't think that's really that bad if you take out the rental car that we weren't expecting. Right. So. And I think for activities, I think in August it was just like some state park fees or something. Yeah. And then uh, September, most of that was fishing. Some of that was your little trip away. I had to buy a fishing new license lures. for Idaho. I had to buy a new fishing license, license for Washington. Yeah, but you know what? That was your retirement thing. We also had that excursion on the cruise. That wasn't in there. That was part of the prepaid. Damn. That was the cruise part. We're not counting the prepaid. But I was hoping. That was a great fishing <laughs> excursion. We'll come out with a video on that. Okay. Uh, then we had our phone. So we went we went over the reasons with the phone. Yeah. And the SIM cards. So all of those phone charges are basically related to SIM cards and transferring to Google Voice. Correct. The reason September is high is because Tim's global SIM card, I, I want to say was like eighty dollars. Yeah, it was 80 bucks. Even on sale. We got a really good sale price, but it's still like eighty dollars. But it's good for is it six months? It's good for one year. A year. A year. Yeah, so we should be fine. It's like that. 10 gigabytes or something. I mean, it's not like we're going to use it exclusively, but we're going to use it at all the little places that we're in and out of, or if we need to just get started someplace mm -hmm. to buy a regular yeah. SIM card. So that'll help us out quite a bit. Okay, insurance. The only insurance that we have there, that $115, is um, we paid $77 for a non owner auto policy. Right. Which. It was a good deal, but I think there was some, you know, in the transition from our former auto policy to that one, some of it credited. I, I think it was actually like a hundred and something dollars, but yeah. we only paid 77 And then my life insurance. And then uh, medical, as I mentioned, I had a little cough, $81. Uh, clothing that was some rain jackets that we ended up buying, and boy, have we been glad to have them. <laughs> they, they've worked out. Fabulously, and, yeah. and part of that reason is is that they're very lightweight, mm -hmm. so they pack really well. Yes, they're rain jackets, but they don't look like kind of the yeah. dorky ones yeah. we had as kids. Well, they're kind of more like windbreakers. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, and, and that's and we've used them a lot for that here in, yes. in Vancouver. The wind is is a bit chilly. Chilly. <laughs> so we've had that uh, miscellaneous includes a few different things. We each had a haircut, of course, U.S. prices. Um, what else did we have? Let me see, I have a little note. We, I bought some makeup mm -hmm. and we bought a couple of over the counter meds that we wanted to stock up on before this long cruise. Right. And we had to get some things notarized. Yeah. So, you know, just a little like random things like that. that little random stuff of life. Added up to a total of $389 in two months. Hopefully, that will not be a normal thing either. So when you look at the totals, you can see the monthly totals, but for two months it came to $5,321, which averages out to $87 a day. That does not include the accommodations. Those were prepaid. The prepaid items, accommodations and insurance, comes to $5,030, which is an additional $82 mm -hmm. a day. But remember, that's all for two months. So for the cash, when you average that out, that's twenty six sixty a month, which is only about $1,000 more than your pension that's coming in every Correct. month. So that's not too bad. That didn't, our savings didn't take too hard of a hit on that. Remember the rest of it was prepaid for us. But if you were paying it all right now, 
um, the total for two months would, would have been $10,351, which was an average of $5,175 a month. Which even that, though, when you think about how expensive it was to just live in California. Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, that's less than we would have spent in a month to live in California. So... Still paying Perspective. I wanted to just give you all of the numbers so you can figure out if it was you and you were doing this, what pieces could you toss out? Maybe you don't drink at all. That would eliminate... A An lot. entire $745 <laughs> in two months. Yeah, remember that was two months. Okay, so okay. it doesn't sound so But, bad. you know, if you don't drink, that's out. So, yeah. um, if you don't like to eat out at restaurants and you're better at cooking at home, you could save a lot of money there. Anyways, it's been a great experience. Um, I would wrap up the two months by saying we've had a lot of, especially in Vancouver for me, since I'm done with the details, just resting. <laughs> But it's been wonderful. We've, we've loved being together. Um, and I've worked really hard on the website, and that's up yes, now. Yes, the website so is now up and running, so you, please visit, visit us there. Yeah, www.tastelifewithus.com. Um, we've been posting on Facebook and Instagram if you want to follow us there. Be sure you put in Taste Life With Us and look for our logo because there's some other Taste Life stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? We and then just... if you're watching this, you already know we do have a YouTube channel. Yep. So and that stuff's been fun for us. You know, we're just doing this for our family and friends. We're doing this to kind of pay it forward to people who are thinking about this lifestyle because yep. other people did that for us. And, and that's the only way we had the courage to do it was because of people that shared their budget. And that's a vulnerable thing to do. And we know we're going to get some more comments about our alcohol budget, as we already did when we shared it on Facebook. But Feel free to leave comments with us. We're okay with that. Because yeah, yeah. we do understand that your taste may vary from ours. And yes, that's okay. That is okay. But thank you for tasting life with us. And we hope you'll keep following along. Absolutely. See you later. If you've enjoyed watching this video, We'd really like it if you'd come visit our channel and see some of the videos that were mentioned in this video. Or you can also reach them at our website at www.tastelifewithus.com.